Oh, hi. Tom again. Well, of course, right? Wanted to bring you a couple of reviews here. First off, let's start with the, uh, with this one. Now, hunting season is here. Deer season is right around the corner here in Pennsylvania. <clears throat> this is the K-Bar. Get rid of that glare. 1184 Hunter model. Now, the reason why I'm going to do this one first is I'm going to lead into the second review. It's a great knife for hunting. Small gaming, even deer. Um, been used for years, you know. So this is a five and a quarter inch overall. It's 1095 steel folder. We got one clip point general usage blade. It is carbon steel. This one's, you know, these are older knives. They're not a new one. It is carbon steel and this one's well patinaed and it does take, you know, a razor sharp edge. It's sometimes scary, the edge this takes. You can, I don't know if you can see it down there in the bottom, but it says, um, K bar 1184 USA. So that's your clip point general usage blade. And this one here is made in carbon steel. The other one I have is a Colonial Frontier. It's carbon steel. And the other case that I have is stainless. This is the second blade on here. Now it looks kind of funky and it's, you know, kind of. I was talking to an old guy that's used one of these since the day he started hunting. He had an old, uh... oh my God, I forgot the name of the stupid company, Marbells, Folding Hunter. And uh, so anyway, what he was explaining to me is that this blade here is designed to fit your hand, and it does, to fit your hand for the skinning. It's just at the perfect angle. You can hold it in your hand. You don't even know it's there. It's an extension of your finger. And there's no, um, really no fatigue using it like this. It's different. Once again, carbon steel 1095, and it does hold the razor's edge. Now, this one's a stag, and they have them in all kind of colors. Generally, you'll see the stag, but they do have them in a... Uh, a jig bone, brown bone handle, and you know, just uh, it's got brass ends on it. A great knife if you ever want to get a, a really good knife for hunting. Now, most of you know I'm I'm obsessed with trappers. You got your two blades here, your general purpose and your Skinner. This makes your money cut. And this is done here, even if you wanted to grab it up here on a tip. And it still gives you lots of finesse room. And this does fit your hand just like the other one. No fatigue. It's it's amazing. Not like nowadays where you just make a knife in here, you put up with what you get. Now, I paired this up for my hunting rig. Now, I'll have a ferro rod and some tinder in here because there's lots of room to spare with that big hunting knife. So, I, I do that a lot. This one here. This is a Remington UMC trapper. The stag handles. Now, this is a 4 and 8 inch closed, 3 and 7 8 inch blades. Be perfectly honest with you, this does most of my hunting. Any of my trappers, I have a K bar that is put away. And I have um, this one. I have a Marbells. I have a uh, Colonial. Weird little knife company called Honk Falls out of New York. A buck. So I've had. A, I have a bunch of them. This one here does most of my hunting with me. Like I said, it's a 3 and 7 eighths stainless steel blade. 
for my food problems. Now if you notice that other knife has two blades, so do trapper models. Now this is for your money cuts. You know, when you're trying to get in around them little ankles and, and start to, your case skinning. This here is a spade blade. And the reason why they call it a spade blade is to splay things open. Spade, splay things open, yeah. Let's see if I can do this without cutting my fingers off, because these things are razor sharp. Now, the whole purpose of this blade is once you open it up with that main blade, this one here you can put right under the skin and write it on this little lump or write it up on this non-sharp part and skin your, your meat. It also works really good for in tight places. Now I love my trapper knives. I always have. Ever since I was a kid I've seen them and I, you know, wow, I don't know what they're called, but I like them. Two blades makes a whole lot more sense than one. <clears throat> you know, one of these blades go dull, I always have a backup. So uh, that's what I do. Same thing with this one. Now I've got two blades on this one. One's for the money cut, your general purpose. One's for just your skinning. So altogether, I've got four blades with might say they're completely different uses, but they can all be used for the same purpose. Now, in the future, what I hope to do is to take this set here, with the two knives in it. We're going to build a kit that's going to make sure you got fire. And it's going to make sure you've got enough knives and a way to sharpen them. All in these two little pouches. Well, you're carrying all them blades. So, that's in the future videos. So, this is Tom. I hope you enjoyed the video. I said these K-Bar Hunters, just about every company, Buck, everybody has made them. They're just called the hunt five and quarter inch hunting models, generally. This happens to be from K-Bar. The trapper is the same thing. Every knife company in America has made them and variations of them. They're single blade, double blade trappers, dog head trappers, dog bone trappers, you name it. It's even a dog leg trapper. And uh, great knives. For a field knife and just general purpose knife, I love my trappers. But, like I said, for my hunting and all my camping, I've really just used most of these. So... This is Tom. We'll see you around Christmas time for our Christmas video. And after Christmas, big uh, black and white fire started giveaway. And then we'll start building one of these kits. So we'll see you then.